Okay, guys, just listen to what Paul and Leche's daughter Deborah has to say about all these gospel artists bullying and stuff on social media. She shared her own experience and just listen to her, guys. So something happened to me yesterday, which I thought was worth sharing because it's crazy. So I'm walking in the mall, you know, went to get something um, with my sister. I'm walking about and I'm in shop right and this lady runs up to me really excited like in fact it was shock it wasn't excitement it was like, oh. she ran up and she was like oh my god I can't believe I'd ever meet you I, you know like can't believe this is you in the flesh you know th I thought it was cute I thought it was sweet at first until she says ignore the stain there <laughs> until she says um actually I I I was in your comments the other day and I commented that I was in church and I saw you walking and I thought they brought a masquerade into the church until I saw your face and my face just turned down it wasn't it, you know I, I wasn't like angry or anything I was just like okay why are you telling me this my sister is less like me my sister went fully like <laughs> what the hell kind of story is this but what really struck me was I looked at her daughter and her daughter had like the look, the utmost look of disappointment on her, you know, and I just walked away. I didn't say anything. I just walked away. Like, what do you say to that? But it made me realize three things. Sorry, I'm in Nigeria. It's hot. Anyway, <laughs> it made me realize three things. One, those who talk about you behind your back are always there behind your back. If they were on your level, if they were ahead of you, most likely wouldn't speak that way about you. You know, anyone who loves you doesn't speak poorly about you. Secondly, I just was shocked that someone who calls themselves a Christian, a believer, would consciously admit to me that she bullied me. It just made me realize the culture we have as Christians, um, especially in Africa and in, you know, Nigeria specifically, you know, we, we have a, I can't get into it because I don't want to be accused of being, um, what's the word, reductive, but generally we have this disposition towards our own. We are the first to bully Christians. Christians are the first to bully Christians. The most rancid, rabid, unfortunate comment sections I ever come across on the internet tend to be from Christians. And we claim to serve a God of love. God is love, 1 John 4, 4. We are supposed to be embodiments of his love. How can others know about Jesus if we don't portray the same love that brought him to the earth? It just surprises me that this is how we see ourselves and this is how we portray ourselves and we expect people to come to Jesus we talk about fire and brimstone and those things are real but the only magnet I have from Jesus that pulled me is his love it's not the judgment or the fear of it it's the love you know and we're having this pandemic especially with gospel artists where it's like every every action is scrutinized everything we do everything we are is put under a telescope and is like dissected and pulled apart and these are human beings these are people who lead lives who have feelings we don't think about that you you know you never think about it until you actually meet the person it's like it's a human being with eyes and a brain and a heart like it's it's a human being like you, you know, what are we doing? I mean this with all the love in my heart. The Bible lets us know that the judgments will start with the church. Jesus isn't going to start with those, the sinners, because, well, no, of course they will be judged, but they didn't really know better. We know better, you know, and Peter says it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of a living God. Just imagine at the end of life, at the end of all we've done here, when we thought it's all said and done and we've had, we have the curtains fall, what will we be remembered by? What will people say about us? Oh, she was so mean. Every time I sat with her, she gossiped. Ah, 
oh that guy that guy his mouth is bad can you imagine like that's a horrible legacy to leave behind i just think it's i just wanted to put this out there you know bullying someone about what their child looks like bullying people about how they you know appear which is hypocritical considering most of the people that come at me about